Hi everyone! I hope you are doing well. Today I want to tell you about all the books I have read in the month of May. First book I read in May was Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney. Um, if you don't know about this book, uh, this is a story of young Frances who lives in Dublin. Uh, she has her friend Bobby, who was her girlfriend back in time, but now they are really good friends. Frances is a poet. And uh, at the beginning of the book they met a married couple who is much older than them. They are my age, 35 years old, Melissa and Nick. And uh, then things became really complicated in a very short time. Um, I don't know what to say about this book. I can't say that I loved it a lot, but I think the problem is not with the book, but with me. I am too old for it. You know, I read, I read a lot of young adults, and I am fine with a young adult most of times. Um, I do not feel myself old. Like, of course, I, I am 35 and I have two children, I am not young adult at all. But I do not feel myself old. But when I read this book, I felt that it's not for me. Um, this is a book about very young people and their first relationships. But also, this is a book about um, intellectual youth. Like young people who have really good education and they talk about different very complex topics. And um, as you can tell from the title, this is book... Well, of course, there is a plot. And this is interesting plot and I mean people can discuss it but the main thing in this book it's about conversations with friends so things they tell each other things they discuss things they quarrel about and all the stuff but I don't understand most of the things like I know about them but I think author try to tell to ask something about the heroes, the main characters in the book, while telling us their um, point of view on different events. Like, for example, um, one uh, young boy began to uh, tell Frances a poem of Kitten, and she was like, who in the hell is he? Is she, he who, why he is telling me such a poet? And I'm like, such, like what? Such bad, such good, such complex, such trivial, or uh, like main characters have sex, and in the middle of the sex they begin to discuss. Um, like revolution in Greek or some political problems in Greece and she became very um, tender to her boyfriend at this time when she said something about Greece and I well if I don't know about Greece I could google it yeah like some political situation in that e years but there are so many s these small hints around the books when I think I just don't get it. Um, I mean, there was a, a discussion in our book club uh, in the beginning of the book. They discuss uh, feminism and there is like, they discuss, I think, fourth wave of feminism and they uh, throw some names and discuss the situation and it makes uh, Francis and Melissa more close to each other. They begin to understand each other better. And I don't know how this feminism thing helped them. So I think, or I'm not that um, intellectual, uh, or I do not understand the author, maybe because of my age, 
she, the author wrote this book when she was 26 and you know in, in 26 a lot of more things in the world seems much more problematic or important and uh, I mean this is still the age when you can make friends with the people because they listen to the same music as you and in 35 at least for me it's not the option so I think it's something I, I, I can't say that I get all the stuff that author brings to the table and that's why I can't say that I like this book very much. <laughs> uh, my husband told me that this book was a dangerous thing because I just... I was so frustrated while reading it. I tried to read him some quotes and ask why, why these people think this is important or what the author tried to tell us about the person if he, I don't know, doesn't like the, some some kind of painting or um, why she's a communist and it makes her more sexy. I just don't get it. And then, and my husband was like, why are you reading this? It's make you feel bad. Why are you doing this for you? And then at 70% of the book, it became really good. Um, for me, at least. There are some health problems with Frances. Also, she began to understand how her actions uh, make different people feel in different ways. There are some family complications, there are some complications with her friend Bobby, and things became really messy this time, but I liked it because she at least felt for me like a real human, not like, you know, a blogger who uh, discuss different important topics all the time. She just felt for me real for the first time in the book. And um, in this 30% I like I was okay, I like this book. And my husband was like, wow, uh, now you need to read the whole book every time. You can't do an effort because you have this one um, book that you begin to like at 70%. Is it like <laughs> forget about this? Um, yeah, so I gave it four stars. Um, I don't think this book will stay in time, you know, like in 10 years when all this political important stuff became less important. I don't think it will be interesting for another generation because I think. I am on the edge of this generation, but I, I think it's not interesting for me because I'm from different culture, I'm from different uh, political surrounding, and so this doesn't make that much sense to me. I don't know what is the difference between good book or imported book for the very small period of time. Uh, I know this book is really, like, I don't know, famous. A lot of people like it. I think they understand it. Like, it's get some nerve in this generation, in this slice of generation. And maybe I'll get, I'll give Salerun another chance and I'll reach normal people, but I couldn't do it in this month. I couldn't do it to myself. I struggle with the book a lot. Still, four stars. Next book was a recursion by Black Crouch and I think it really brings a lot of dislikes for me but I didn't like it very much. I gave it three stars. Um, I know it's a very popular book and I, I read it because it won the first place in Goodreads Award for 2019 in sci-fi, I think. This is a, a, a sci-fi mystery thriller, a sci-fi thriller, let's name it like this. Um, so in our days or some nearby future, one policeman uh, begin to work with some cases that um, include this. People began to uh, have this false memory syndrome. So this is like a disease when people begin to have 
uh, very vivid memories about the life they never had. So they remember that they had a marriage and kids and now they're in different marriage and without kids and with different work, they live in a different city, but they can uh, remember all the things that happened to them in that another life. And so uh, a lot of people like became crazy and uh, make suicide because they or they liked their felt life more or they can't understand which is real and uh, we go from here from there so the book is really really close to black matter uh, there is like a strange situation in the beginning then very soon we know more about the situation and then the whole book like i don't know 70 80 percent of the book two main characters they begin to work to solve this problem and then it looks a little bit like second matrix you know with uh, agent, agent smith when he doubled himself many many times and at some point it became so crazy that you understand nothing um, so people these two main characters they will um, I don't want to spoil it. They will do a lot of crazy stuff for many, many, many times. Like, again, and again, and again, and again. It became so stupid, um, mess up, that it became funny for me, not thrilling. I didn't care for main characters at all from from some point. I, I did care for them for like, I don't know, 20% of the interaction and then I thought it was too much and it was a little bit funny, like a sketch. And I read it like some funny comedy. It's not, it's a thriller. You have to be scared, scared for your characters. I wasn't. Um, so yeah, maybe sci-fi is not for me, maybe this author is not for me, I don't think I will read um, Blake Crouch anymore, because two of his most famous books I disliked. Three stars, still um, entertaining, you can read it, uh, maybe it will do something for you, something thrilling, not for me, but again, we're all different, so... Next book I want to tell you about is Cutting for Stone by Abraham Ervergeze. Uh, this is very interesting um, and rather important book, I think, in this period of time. Um, Abraham Ervergeze is not only an author, a writer, he is a very famous doctor who did a lot for, uh, for American uh, medical industry. And uh, um, this is his work about uh, a clinic in Africa, about all people who work there and about a strange situation with two twins that was born uh, there from the staff, like uh, the one doctor and nurse were, his, were their parents and how their life was in Africa and uh, our main character will travel uh, later to um, America and then back to Africa. This is a really interesting book. Um, it was a little bit too exotic for me. Like, Africa was so vivid, so um, there are a lot of... It was really picturesque. A lot of smells, a lot of uh, new for me animals, um, I don't know, um, different, uh, um, they wear different clothes and it's all so different that at some point that exotic surrounding will make for me the relationships between people more pale and less important. Also, uh, trigger warnings, there are a lot of medical situations in this book, medical descriptions of operations, of surgeries. You need to know that there will be a lot of 
flesh and blood and all this stuff like pus in this book uh, you just need to know it it was fine for me but I don't think it will be fine for all also this book is a little bit too much in all the like situations uh, it was about uh, Indian people like all doctors from in this Africa hospital came from India or almost all doctors and I feel a little bit Bollywood in this uh, twins uh, their mother died their father went away and they they found him and you know it was a little bit too many dances too many uh, craziness too many surgeries uh, a little bit too much for me but I can see that for some people it will be the best book in a year it is really really good I gave it four stars but it's high four stars so I can recommend highly recommend this book this is a good book Cutting for Stone by Abraham Regezi next I read a non-fiction it is How to Tame a Fox and Build a Dog by Lee Dugatkin and this is about, uh, this is an American book about a uh, Russian uh, Soviet a scientist, um, uh, Dr. Belayev. Dr. Belayev uh, had a theory about how uh, dogs appeared in our life. So how wolves get domesticated and became dogs. How they transformed from this, you know, cruel, aggressive beasts true like main friends of people and uh, he tried to uh, make the same process using foxes that were um, raised in special farms in USSR for their fur. He used breeding to make um, like to speed up this whole domestication process. He uh, paired the most friendly foxes that he could find and their children became even more friendly and then he paired the next generation and generation after that and in like 60 years foxes became almost like a dogs um, it's a really interesting book it covers not only this process but also um, problems with science in USSR and how um, uh, Belyaev uh, uh, tried to fight um, communist party uh, to, you know, to make his work. It's really interesting. It's fascinating. It's sometimes uh, is like you read it like a thriller uh, because of different things that had they had to deal with and uh, uh, it's really really interesting true story so yeah highly highly recommend i like this book a lot then i read uh, pumpkin heads by rainbow rowell i've told about this book already this is a graphic novel very cute very fun um, it's about two uh, high schoolers who work on pumpkin patch and they're like full friends like they are friends only in fall they do not speak to each other in any other seasons but uh, um, this book this little book is very atmospheric of you know fall in USA with all pumpkin spice and marshmallows and all the stuff that you can find in pumpkin patches um, during Halloween season so yeah I liked it a lot it's really cute uh, there is LGBT plus representation there and uh, um, I think it's wonderful. It's just very cute, wonderful, small graphic novel. I liked it a lot, gave it uh, four, yeah, gave it four stars and maybe I will buy it because I have it, I, I took it from the library. Uh, no, I have bought it in um, for my Kindle, but I think maybe I'll buy it uh, in um, physical Forum because I just want to look through these pictures once more and maybe even like take it out every Halloween and look through it. It's really, really, really cute. Highly recommend. 
uh, yeah, the last book I've read was the best. It was the only five star read for me. And uh, um, it's End of Green Gables. I never read it. I have it here. Never read it before. This is a uh, library book and definitely I will buy it. Uh, I liked it so, so very much. Uh, this is about a young orphan who came in Canada uh, in the 19th century, I think. Uh, she came to this old uh, uh, brother and sister uh, who wanted to, to have a boy, like to adopt a boy so he can help them on the farm but there was a mistake and came Anne and Anne is not only a, a girl but she is very um, a little bit bossy, very talkative with great imagination and uh, the whole town like liked her a lot she made lots of friends and um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful story um, I know that all, like everybody already read it. I think I'm the late to this train, but um, yeah, it's one of the my favorite books of this year, definitely. Um, liked it, highly recommend it. Buy it and read it. You need to. It's a good book. Okay, that's all books I've read in the month of May. I can't say it was a good month and I think I'm in a reading slump since, since then. But it's okay, it happens. Uh, still I've read some good books and uh, uh, it's not my fault that I didn't like all of them. Um, tell me please, what uh, do you think about um, conversation, conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney? Because I feel bad for not liking this book. I know that everybody likes it a lot and I feel like I didn't get something. Uh, this is uh, the hint with reading in foreign language. Sometimes you don't like something and then you just don't know. Maybe you didn't get it right because of the language or because of your social differences. Maybe it's a really good book but I'm just not that English speaking to understand it. I don't know. Um, please tell me about books that you read in May and uh, see you in another video. Bye!